Welcome back. It's Raktar and Trouble is Afoot. We are aboard Captain James T. Hook's pirate boat. As you can see, a shadow, a Sora shadow just attacked me because Riku apparently not only controls the Heartless now, but Riku can also send, like, Sora shadows at me. And who knows? Maybe he could make Donald shadows, Peter Pan shadows, Riku shadows, but he chooses to send shadows of myself at me for some artistic reason. That is beyond me. Also, these pirates are apparently total weaklings because they can't my they can't my ass kick. Also, the problem with being inside of like a boat is oh, I should have put Goofy on my team. Oh, I can't do yellow ones anyway yet, so it doesn't even matter. Ha! Huh. I wonder if I can make that jump to over here, or if that even serves any purpose. Can I go in that thing? Nope. There's like no secrets if you can make this jump. Ooh, but if you come over here. Maybe there's no dude. Damn it! I'm like, I'm like super happy that I'm gonna get the secrets. When in reality, there's like no secrets to be gotten. There's just a bunch of places you can jump to, on board Captain James T. Hook's ship, and there's no reason for it, dude. If I someday I'll be able to do those ones. All right, let's go in this door. Oh no, nope, can't go in that door. Let's go in this door. Oh, you totally can. See, I thought about going top deck, but. I was like, top deck, whoa, what is down there? See, and there's a Sora Shadow. Look at the amount of experience you get from beating Sora Shadows. Like, these stupid ass barrels barely give me any experience at all. Like, what, three? Did you see, like, 150 flash on the screen when I beat that Sora Shadow? And Sora Shadows aren't even that hard. All right, let's head down here. I'm very curious what we've got. Drop. There we go. Down below the deck. In the bilge of oh my gosh, dude, this place is evil. This place, whoa. Okay, maybe that's why the Sora shadows give me so much X. But you see, like he just kicked me for like a billion damage, and then he disappeared. I don't even get to kill him and get all the good stuff. I wonder why, like this part of the ship exists though. It's scary. Like this is totally the place where ghosts would reside if ever there were ghosts on a ship. And who knows, maybe there are ghosts on the ship. I don't know. Whoa. What is- Oh, I know what's happened here. Somebody used time magic on that thing. Although, or did they use time magic? Why was it just standing there? Like, they had to have used time magic, but I thought you could still damage things when time magic was on. Maybe you can't- Or it could be a possibility. I've had a few places in the game where, like, things have sort of glitched, but... Who knows, maybe this isn't one of them! Yeah! Alright, cool. Now we'll climb up... Oh, no, no, there's one more. Oh, there's two more! Alright, whatever. I like that he does... Dude, his rooster... His rooster crow really sucks in this game. What? Oh, dude, I was saying this earlier. Man, the angles in this place are not very good just because... Like, seriously... Oh yeah, because the sh you know the inside of a ship is gonna be like so naturally small, the angles are like really weak sauce. All right, we're going in through this door now. I have no idea what I'm going to find. Oh, this is actually a scene. I guess I'm supposed to be going this way. So, how come you can fly? Anyone can fly. You wanna try? Aw, uh, haven't you cooled off yet, Tink? Just a little bit of pixie dust. There, now you can fly! Dude, Donald should totally be able to fly. I mean, he's a fucking duck. How is he going to migrate? What? So Wendy's not one of the chosen ones? There are seven, supposedly. The Maleficent says she's not one of them. Hoist anchor as soon as possible. Leave all the dead weight behind, including her. After the trouble of capturing her? And why those seven? What is Maleficent planning, anyway? Who knows? As long as it means getting Kyrie's heart back, I couldn't care less. <laughs> You're wasting your time. The Heartless have devoured that girl's heart. I'll stake the other hand it's lost forever. I will find it, no matter what. Captain? 
What? The prisoners have escaped. What's more, Peter Pan is with them. <sighs> Blast that Peter Pan. All right, then. Bring the hostage to me cabin, Smee. Hop to it. What is it, Tink? Peter? Peter Pan? Wendy! Please, hurry! The pirates are coming! What? I'll be right up there. Just hold on! Wendy? Yes? Is there another girl in there with you? Oh, why, yes. But she seems to be asleep. She hasn't budged an inch. Kyrie? Kyrie! All right, let's get up there. Just cut the cut the rope, and we'll just go in. Cause am I the only person that thinks that that looks like a rope, and I should just be able to like cut that thing and get in there? Apparently, that's not the case. Can I climb this pipe? See that totally. All right, hey, you know what we can do? Oh no, I can't. I thought I could put that fire out. Dude, that's totally a rope. But the game is not going to let me cut it. The game is just gonna make me go the old-fashioned slow way. Oh, now I see. Look, the rope over on this side actually is cut out so you can get up into the thing this way. Now I feel really stupid because that was totally the way I was supposed to go, so... This was obviously the room they were in because this is the rope where we couldn't get through. Wendy, are you in there? So I probably can't get in that door since he was, like, not able to go through, so we'll go in the other door. See what's rock and rolling over there. Ooh. Man. Put Goofy. Can I get Goofy from here? Dude, I totally can. We're just gonna get... Sorry, Peter. We're gonna get Goofy really quick. And then we're going to... Trinity! And see what I can get with this Trinity. Luckily, see, it's always nice when there's a party change right next to a Trinity. Oh! You know why they put the party change right next to it? Because this is probably a required Trinity, which is very unusual. There's not a lot of required Trinities in this game. You know... Fuck having Peter Pan. Peter Pan is kind of a dick, to be 100% honest. I'm just gonna keep Goofy and Donald on my team, even though, at that rate, Donald is never gonna catch up to Goofy in levels, but I've started to come to the conclusion he was never gonna catch up to Goofy in levels wait. anyway. Oh, dude, this is a- this is not like the others. This is like a total boss version of myself. Look at it, he's got, he's got the attacks. Oh yeah, how do you like that? Look at this shit, dude. He's getting rocked right now by my sweet, sweet fireball abilities. I think that this is like cheating, but, oh. Oh, there we go. All right, we gotta wait for him to pop out again and then we can start up again. Oh, now I'm out. Now I have to fight like a normal human being. He wrecked my tricks. I had such sweet tricks, and now they're all wrecked because... Oh, where'd he go? Oh shit. Oh, what a cheap move! Now, because I did that though, I kind of messed up. Because now I gotta actually watch my health and my magic and shit. Oh dude, there's other ones now. They're probably not as strong as him though. Oh my gosh! Get shit on! Yeah, this isn't... This is one of his copies because it doesn't have the HP. Here's the real one again. Ah, uh, get your ass kicked. Whoa. Dude, I need to hit him a lot so I can get my magic to go back up. See, that's what I should have done, is saved my magic so I wouldn't end up fucking myself like I did. Because basically, I've totally fucked myself over at this point. Because I didn't save my magic for healing. And now he can actually get, like, legitimate hits off on me. Ah. Uh. I hate you, Shadow Sora. You're not a cool guy. Nobody likes you, except for Riku. And Riku should like the normal Sora more. Oh my gosh. Now there's a million of these guys out here. Luckily, the other ones die in one hit, but... Ah, uh, fuck you, Shadow Sora. My strategy of magicking you was so amazing, and you ruined it. You ruined my sweet, sweet magic ways. There we go. We're back on real Sora again. 
Well, no, no, I'm real Sora! What am I saying? I'm getting delirious! No, the only real Sora is not made of shadows. He's made of flesh and other Soras. He's like a hundred little Soras taped together with anger and blood. Oh, shit. Alright, here we go, real Sora. You don't stand a chance, although I wish I had a nice full magic bar again to rock your world with because that, although that strategy may have been super cheap, it was actually working pretty damn well. Oh, here we go. Dude, the trick is you can't you can't let him pop up below you, because if you do, yeah, he gets a super easy hit in on you, like that! Oh, Fuck! There we go. It's okay, this is just annoying. He's like a freaking Ryu who only knows how to use the Hadouken. He just keeps on using it. I actually hate... Some of the AI on some of the bosses is actually like that in this game, where once their health gets low, they just use the one most annoying move in their arsenal over and over again, and it's really actually quite annoying. Alright, you're a fake, you're real, with like no health. If I can just get him, there we go. Oh shit, there, jeez, you jerk. You're done for, Shadow Sora. You think you're Shadow Link, but you're not. You're actually just a weak old shadow of me. Not a super strong shadow of me either. Ooh, that's creepy. Obtained Raven's Claw. Raven Claw. Raven Claw, that's a thing. Alright. Open up this bad boy chest, see what we got going inside. Hopefully. Oh, it's some more Dalmatians. <laughs> some dead ass Dalmatians. Alright, so. Whoa. Okay, let's go in this room. Why the fuck not? I think this is the room that technically Wendy might be in. Well, I mean, Peter Pan knocked on the door. Yep, there she is. Cool. Wendy. Come on, Tink. Not now. Well, this is as far as I can go. I gotta help Wendy. Peter Pan, you sniveling, skeevy bastard. All right, well, what's in the box? I'm just kidding, Peter Pan. You're a nice guy. Oh, it's a Proterra chain. I should probably... I noticed that I haven't re-equipped my crew recently, so maybe I should do that. All right, now that we're all saved up and good to go, I can... I guess I gotta run back around. This is probably the only... Oh my gosh! But there's dudes in the way, but I've got full magic again, so... This fight's gonna be over pretty quick because you guys don't stand a chance against my sweet, sweet magic abilities. Actually, they did a pretty... they stood a pretty decent chance against my magic abilities. Oh, I don't want to fall down there. No falling down there. Dude, I didn't even notice there's a third door here. Oh, but it's locked. I was like, whoa, three doors is better than one. But then the third door was locked, so it didn't even matter. And now back up the ladder. Hopefully we can figure out what the fuck is going on with Captain Jimmy... Jimmy Boy James Yo... Oh, shit. Except for now his cabin is not full of Shadow Soras, it's full of real Soras, but they're not made of Sora, they're made of Heartless. So they're not Sora at all. Well, they're gonna be sore, because I'm gonna make them sore. That was like the dumbest thing I could have ever said. Oh. Okay, this guy is annoying me. His super basic battle skills are bothersome, and it's killing me. Don't- oh shit, stop it! You're too good! Alright, out this door, the door that we saw Riku pull Kairi through. And hopefully we're gonna find out the evil. Quite a codfish, that Riku! Running off with that girl without even saying goodbye. Run off where? Tell me, where did he go? To the ruins of Hollow Bastion, where Maleficent resides. But you won't be going there. <gasps> Unless you intend to leave your little pixie friend behind. <sighs> Hand over the keyblade and I'll spare your lives. I'm glad I'm merciful, unlike the heartless. So, which will it be? The Keyblade? Or the Plank? It is the crocodile that took me hand! 
Oh, me. He's after me, other hand. I can't stay here. Go away. Oh, I can't stand the sight of him. Me, you take care of them. Fly, Sora. Just believe, and you can do it. Thanks, Peter. Hey, don't mention it. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you? All right, now we got, ooh, a uh, higher, finally we got a higher level of cure, and we can put Peter Pan on my team, but you know what? Like I said, I like having Donald the Goofy here, right? and of course, guess what? The mechanics of flying are exactly the same as the mechanics of a previous thing, which is swimming, so you don't really have to worry too much about, like, getting used to flying or anything, because to be totally honest, it's the exact same as swimming, so... There's nothing too challenging about it, but... Oh, shit! That guy used, like, some kind of special move on me! I don't appreciate this. In fact, I'm gonna murder everything in my sight so I don't die. There we go. Cool. Oh, there's more! And they're flying, of course, but now... Oh, there we go. Now we're flying, so we don't care about these flying dudes because we've got the power of flight ourselves. They're also wearing Where's Waldo hats. So they clearly are trying to stand out in the crowd and get me to find them and murder them. Dude, flying in this game is really cool. It's kind of something that I almost wish that um, they sort of included more regularly, because like once you like lose the ability to fly here, you get ability that's sort of like flying, but it's not flying. And it would just be cool if there was like more use of flying in this game, all the- oh! Holy shit! This boat, I remember, is like, if it hits you, it's gonna do crazy shit. These boats are cool, though! Like, these, like, crazy-ass space boats are really awesome enemies. I should probably, you know what? Should probably... There we go. Just- oh, man! Finally an enemy that doesn't get wrecked by my magic! Well, whatever. See, everything, in the end, everything gets wrecked by my magic. Because I just loaded up with fireballs. Damn it! I should have killed that thing over the boat so I could actually grab its sweet, sweet bounty of magic. Because it did drop a magic bounty. Where are these- oh, there we go. It's like, where are these guys at? See, that's the only problem, once again, with flying, is that it sort of makes that- makes so their enemies can be anywhere. Unlike when you're fighting on the ground, you know, enemies are limited to being on the ground and not just, like, flying anywhere they want in outer space. But now the battle's won. What will happen next? Is that you, Smee? Did you finish them off? Aye, Captain. They walked the plank, every last one of them. Ah! <laughs> Peter Pan, blast you! Ready to make a splash, you codfish? Now it's your turn to walk the plank. But of course, yeah, Captain Hook isn't giving up without a battle fight. So should I do what I always do and fill him up with a bunch of spells right off the bat? Or should I, like, actually try and be smart for once and not do that? Ugh. This fight's annoying because I want to get rid of this guy. Crap. Get rid of this guy. He is going to be annoying if I don't get rid of him, but his moves make him weird. Well, you know what? I'll load this guy up with magic because I need him dead for my plans to work. Ah! Uh, oh, I was just going after his... Oh, they got the magic. All right, cool. Well, now that he's down, I'm going to go after Captain Hook with magic. There we go. Hopefully, just loading... Oh, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. This is not a good idea. Yeah, loading him up with magic does not seem to be a good strategy for once. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to go after him old school. And now I just wasted a bunch of magic finding that out, so... 
Captain Hook, we're gonna go after you, old school, since magic does not seem to be doing so hot against you. Oh, wait, where? God damn it, Captain Hook, you crazy? Seriously, Captain Hook is crazy. He's got he's got crazy sweet moves. Like he doesn't seem to be phased at all by the fact that I'm kicking his ass. Well, obviously I'm not, dude. He's the one doing the ass kicking here. Holy fuck! Oh, he's got another guy. Maybe the guys spawn infinitely. That would be really shitty. Uh, we gotta get this guy. I don't even know what the point is. Maybe, like, I'm thinking that maybe I shouldn't be going after these dudes because, like, there might be no purpose. Oh, if I stay, you know what? If I stay close to the thing, I can kind of corner this guy in here so he's not flying around all crazy, making my job super tough. Oh, Captain Hook, why do you summon these dudes? I'm kind of curious, so if these guys are going to be infinitely summoned, I might, maybe, sh not, should be going after this dude, but... Hopefully that's not the case. Alright, how are you- oh, he's not flying. He's just doing, like, a funny thing where it's- he's pretending to fly. Oh, no! Alright. So there- oh, he's down. Oh, he totally summoned another guy. Alright, maybe I should ignore the guys and just go after him because... He- oh, shit. Oh, good, now he's tired. Cool. Well, while he's tired, let's wreck some damage on his bitch ass. Oh. See, if we just wait for him to do all his dumb shit... Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Captain Hook, you don't stand- you don't stand not one chance. And, of course, Donald and Goofy are both down, not even helping me. Urgh. Dude, I want him to get tired again. That was awesome when he got tired before. Oh shit, get out of here! Fly! You can fly! God damn it! Fly, Sora! There we go. Oh, he's tired and I missed it. I missed his sweet, sweet chance to attack him while he was, like, out of breath. See, maybe after every good series of hits, I should dodge him really quickly. There we go. Get a good series of hits and then dodge. And that could be my finale strategy. Although, he still seems to be getting some pretty good hits in on me. Maybe the next time I heal, I should use an item? And that way I'm not wasting my magic, because... Or, you know, I could go... That's probably why he summons the boats, is it's another one of those situations where the boats are, would be great for recharging my magic. Oh, whoop. Get out of get out of here. Captain Hook, you a bitch. I am gonna make you exactly what you are, which is my bitch. I actually do kind of want to go kill that boat, but he's almost dead, so it's really pointless now to even waste my time. You're going down, Captain Hook! I'm gonna murder you! I don't even care about your boat that's dropping its bombs on us. Oh, that was like the last hit. And I'll just do a cure just for the hell of it. Oh, look at that, I got a slow motion cure! Nice! Captain Hook, you dead, bitch. And you divulged the location of Riku. So we know where to go, we know the space. Oh, and I learned Ars Arcanum, which I don't know what that is, but... Oh, it's probably an AP ability that will help me with magic, because it seems very magic-y. It's got the word Arcanum in it. It's gotta be magic-y. Alright. Oh, Kyrie couldn't wake up, so maybe she's really lost her. <gasps> Sora, I still can't believe it. It really flew. Wait till I tell Kyrie. I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. You can bring her to Neverland sometime. Then she can try it herself. If you believe, you can do anything, right? I'll find Kyrie. I know I will. There's so much I want to tell her about flying, the pirates, and everything else that's happened. What's that thing? What about the clock tower? You say there's something there. Oh wow, 
I like that there's like cool music here and the only thing this really exists for is because we have to come and get the key and maybe save some Dalmatians. But, of course, you know what's crazy to think about? This is, and I don't know why I'm thinking about this. So this is where this game connects to our world, right? Isn't that cool that it connects to all these Disney worlds? And you're like, so if it connects to all these Disney worlds, does our world get any part of this? And here we are. We're on the planet Earth. Ooh, that clock is different. So there's got to be some points to that. But first I'm going to save. But yeah, I just always think it's neat that you think to yourself, like, all these crazy worlds are out here and you're exploring all these crazy worlds and Earth isn't connected. But technically, because of Peter Pan world, Earth is totally connected to the, uh, to the Square Enix multiverse because of Peter Pan. And so here we are on the planet Earth in the city of London at Big Ben, a real Earth monument. But, of course, if you're, ha if you're have guessed, the reason that we're here is because this is where the final keyhole is. But I don't know how, what I'm supposed to do. Oh, there we go. We're supposed to hit or maybe push this thing. Yeah. Or maybe attack it. I don't know. Attack it. Attack it. There we go. We gotta fix this clock so it's lined up with all the other clocks at midnight. And then hopefully that'll reveal the, the keyhole that we so desire. Will it reveal the keyhole? And we got Navi G piece, which of course is going to let us warp to new places. It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. A castaway. Though his world perished, his heart did not. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. But fear not. No harm will come to you. He is no match for your power. My power? Yes. The untapped power that lies within you. Now, child, it's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. Are you really going back to Neverland? Afraid so. But we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. <laughs> oh boy, she's getting steamed again. Do me a favor. Look after her for me, will ya? 
Whoa. What? All right, now we can summon Tinkerbell, and we obtained a new weapon, which will hopefully be awesome, and we have Glide, which is a pretty crazy thing that will allow us to do a bunch of stuff, but as we look out upon the city of London one last time, I'm going to end this episode right here, and in the next episode of Kingdom Hearts, I'll be heading for the Hollow Bastion, hopefully, where I will be finding Riku and maybe other things. This has been Rektar. Thank you for watching.